The Rise Ticker mobile app is available in both the Google Play and Apple App Stores and provides you full control of your LED ticker display. Once your account is set up, you'll receive a welcome email with your temporary password. After you log in, you can add additional users by clicking on Users, then the green plus sign. Then enter the first name, last name, and email address for the user you'd like to add. They'll be sent a welcome email with instructions to set up their account. You can also delete users by swiping until you see the red delete icon. Once you press that, then just confirm that that's the user you'd like to remove. From the display section of the app, you can see all of your ticker displays. A red circle means your ticker is offline, and you'll see the last connection time. A green circle means everything is online and properly connected. By selecting a ticker, you can then click the gray pencil in the upper right to edit the name of your ticker, adjust the time zone, set the brightness, or adjust the scroll speed. By default, the power save is turned off, so your ticker runs 24-7 but you can check this box and set your desired time for the ticker to come on and go off. You'll also notice key information about your ticker in the shaded box at the top, such as the MAC address, pixel height, and what content you're licensed for, along with the subscription expiration. At any time, you can add messages to your ticker. Just select the display, add the playlist item, and then make sure that the message icon is highlighted in blue. Then type in your message. You should also make sure and name your message so that it's easily referenceable in your playlist. You can also select your preferred font, size, and color to make sure your message stands out. In addition to messages, you can insert simple graphics and logos in .bmp format. Just select the image icon, name your item, and then browse out to upload the desired graphic. Remember, your ticker has limited resolution and height, so you should create these graphics specific to the pixel height of your ticker. In my example, it's 32 pixels. If you have a blog or news source you'd like to show, you can add an RSS feed by selecting the RSS icon, naming your playlist, and then copy in the URL of your RSS feed. In this example, I'm using a CNN feed. Then determine if you want to show just the headline, just the summary, by turning the proper switches on and off, and then select your desired font, size, and color. By selecting the financial quotes option, you can select from a list of popular items such as Dow 30, NASDAQ 100, cryptocurrencies, and more. Just name your playlist, and then from the pull-down, select what you'd like to show. With the proper license, you can also show sports scores, Again, just name your playlist, and then from the pull-down, select your desired sport. After you've selected the sport, you can choose to show uh, betting odds by turning them on or off, and then selecting your preferred odds provider. By default, all items you add to your playlist will show all the time. By unchecking the Show Always box, you can set a schedule by date when you want the content to come on or go off. You can also set select a specific time for your content to play. After you confirm, you'll notice at a glance on your playlist that beneath each item you'll see the specific scheduling for that content. From the playlist, you can click the three dots on the right if you'd like to clone or make a copy of any message. Then you can make changes to it and rename it. You can also edit at any time by touching or selecting Edit from the menu. You can also remove items by selecting Remove and then Confirming. If you'd like to reorder, just touch the three vertical lines to the left and then drag it into the position, or from the menu, go to the Move Up or Move Down. 
As you can see, the Rise Ticker app is designed to be a simple and easy way for anyone to manage their ticker. If you get stuck or need help, don't hesitate to read it. reach out at support at risedisplay.com.